This video will cover the best way to replace the armature on the Erie's HD76C vibratory feeder. We suggest you watch this video at least once before you attempt to remove the armature on the HD76C vibratory feeder. The replacement of the armature should be undertaken in a safe and orderly way. Before we start, please take the time to listen to this introduction. It is critical that all safety precautions are followed when replacing the armature. This equipment includes one or more extremely powerful magnetic circuits. The magnetic field may be much stronger than the Earth's background field at a distance several times the largest dimension of the equipment. If you use a heart pacemaker or similar device, you must never approach the equipment To avoid serious pinch-type injuries caused by objects attracted to the magnet, keep all steel and iron objects well away from the equipment. Keep credit cards, computer disks, and other magnetic storage devices away from the equipment. Keep electronic devices, such as computers and monitors, away from the equipment. Please contact Eries if you have a question regarding these precautions. Do not operate the unit with associated equipment touching any part of the unit. All inlet and outlet connections should be flexible and free from restricting the feeder. You should be prepared to apply typical safety procedures and be sure that you wear gloves and safety equipment such as goggles and steel-toed shoes. Be sure that your work area is complete with an overhead crane that is able to handle the weight of the tray and feeder body. Proper overhead crane safety procedures should be followed at all times. You will also need sockets and socket wrenches as well as a torque wrench. Finally, Eries encourages that a helper be available to assist with the removal and installation of the armature. Before removing the armature, the tray should be removed, as well as the electrical assembly, as covered in the Eries Video HD76C vibratory feeder replacing the electrical assembly. Once the tray has been removed, set the feeder assembly up for lifting it with the crane. Insert a half inch thick steel plate with eye bolts to help lift out the armature. Then use a mallet to position the armature for removal. Place the feeder assembly flat on a table, angled to reach the armature. Then flip the unit over and remove the front spring bar and tuning springs. Turn the assembly around and remove the diaphragm clamps. Put eye bolts on the rear spring bar and remove the side bars or eye bolts you used for lifting. Take caution while moving the armature around inside the feeder body. The magnets inside the armature will cause it to stick to the body. It is recommended to slide a 3 8 inch non-magnetic spacer between the sides of the body and the armature to ease its removal. Loosen the rear spring bolts. Using an overhead crane, you can lift the armature assembly and spring assembly up and out of the feeder body cavity. This should be considered a two-person job at this point, as you will need a helper to hold the main body of the unit. Move the assembly to a table and separate the armature from the armature adapter. Then attach the new armature to the adapter. Replace the sidebar or eye bolts used for lifting, then reinsert the assembly using the overhead crane. Again, you will need a helper to hold the body in place. Torque the spring bolts and armature bolts to 319 newton meters or 235 foot pounds. Add the diaphragm clamps. Now you can remove the spacers. Turn the unit around, add anti-seize lubricant to the holes for the front spring bolts and reinsert the front tuning springs. Next, add the spring bar. If you are using sidebars to lift the unit, you may have to briefly remove one to get it on. Again, you will torque the spring bolts to 319 newton meters 
or 235 foot-pounds. Flip the unit over, remove the steel plate with eye bolts, and reinsert the electrical assembly and tray. As described in the Eris video, HD76C vibratory feeder replacing the electrical assembly. Be sure to check the air gap once the armature and electrical assembly have been installed, and then once more after the tray is installed. Make sure all the fasteners in the assembly are tight at all times. Periodic checks for tightness should be made to ensure against possible malfunction or damage due to loose parts. The spring and armature bolts should be torqued to 319 Newton meters or 235 foot pounds, while the electrical assembly and tray mounting bolts should be torqued to 102 Newton meters or 78 foot pounds. No other routine maintenance or lubrication is required with the HD76C, except that any accumulation of foreign matter should be periodically removed from between the tray assembly and the body, and from between the body and the mounting surface to prevent restriction of movement of the vibratory elements. Also, any buildup on the feeder tray itself should be removed, as this will affect the tray deflection. An important note about special trays and attachments. Erie's engineering service should always be consulted before undertaking the design or construction of special trays. Neither standard nor special trays, as furnished by Erie's, should be modified or attachments made without first contacting us. Failure to do so will void the warranty and affect the performance of the feeder. Thank you for your time. We hope this video has helped you replace the armature on an Erie's HD76C vibratory feeder and provided good direction about preventative maintenance. Please check out other Erie's videos on our YouTube channel or contact us at the telephone number shown on the screen.